Hello, gorgeous souls. Welcome to your 2022 yearly astrology. And what an extraordinary year. There is something happening this year which is going to be absolutely soul inspiring and mind blowing. And that is that Jupiter, the planet of good fortune and expansion is going into Pisces. In fact, we'll be in Pisces when we hit 2022. And also Neptune, the ruler of Pisces, is also in Pisces. And when these two meet, it awakens our magic. It awakens our potential. Now, whatever you do in 2022, make sure you remember you're a walking magic wand and what you think and what you believe could be created. Here's your yearly astrology. Leo, we have a lot more freedom. We have a lot more excitement. We have a lot more opportunity for you to paddy pour into 2022, being the queen, the king, the they that you are. You are like, yeah, I've got my raw back. I've got my power back. And also, particularly when it comes to your career, if you've been held back in some way when it came to your career, you are ready to go, go, go. And not only that, you are trotting, galloping, and lurching towards your destiny when it comes to your career. And if you don't have any interest in career, it's whatever you're passionate about, whatever you feel, you know, who you are in the world is all about. Boom, you're opening up to new experiences. You're evolving. At the beginning of 2022, we're all a little bit in limbo as we have Venus still retrograde going backwards. But from the 29th, that's really when... 2022 kicks off and for you you know you're quite excited you're quite ready you may be sort of fiddling with your health and well-being you might be going right I'm gonna get myself together so I've got the energy for this brand new start this brand new new year and from February the 1st when we have a new moon we have the opportunity for you to reevaluate your intimate relationships your business partnerships and your partnerships in general they're very much on your mind and you're thinking seriously about who you want in your world, who you want to be intimate with, who you want to share yourself with, and you may be making some adjustments there. Now, Mercury is also retrograde until February the 4th, and you have the opportunity to feel much clearer then. In fact, all the planets are going direct then, and you're like, yeah, baby, I'm ready. And it's a build-up of energy that is building up to February the 16th, depending on where you are in the world, to a full moon in your sign. So you should feel this energy rising and you have a peak experience on that full moon. Listen to your dreams. Look out for strange synchronicities. Trust your intuition. It's quite an emotional wild ride on that full moon, but you are ready and you're coming into your power as well, and particularly your power in your intimate relationships. You are not taking any shit at all, particularly in March when Mars enters your relationship, one-to-one -one partnership, harmony, um, as does Venus. So you've got Venus and Mars hot to trot in your relationship zone. That could be a massive month for you when it comes to intimacy, when it comes to romance, when it comes to love or business partnerships or friendships, depending on what you want or where you are in your life. But let me tell you this, it's going to be very, very um, intense and, and hot. So, you know, pay attention and work with it. It's a very, very March is super powerful for you when it comes to love. Then we also have you feeling very adventurous, maybe wanting to travel in the spring, March, April, wanting to explore. And there might be some sort of unexpected journey that you go on that brings you deep healing as the Sun, Mercury and Chiron join forces on April the 2nd. Look out for an opportunity to travel somewhere, even if it's in the country, whatever it is, it brings about a deep healing for you. You're thinking about your career from April. You're very confident. Hopefully things would have moved forward for you. When it comes to all of those things to do with your reputation, what you believe in, who you are in the world. And you're like, yeah, I've got my mojo back. Jupiter on May the 10th is shifting and going into your adventure zone. There, I reckon you're going to travel a lot this year or explore or study. But you're opening up to new experiences. You're drawn to people who are different or unusual in some way. You're excited by exploring the road less travelled. 
and it really kind of spurs you on. You're opening up to new experiences. And in July, we have Mercury entering your sign. That is a time that you're very convincing. You have the gift of the gab. You have magic in your words. And it's also, of course, on the 22nd when the sun enters your sign. So July and August is very powerful for you and brings lots of opportunity. And the, and the fundamental day to look out for in July is when the new moon is in your sign, because that's officially your new year. You're beginning a brand new cycle. You've learned all this stuff. You've got your confidence and you're like, right, I'm ready to let go of the crap I don't need. And I'm ready to go on, on, on. And the sun is trying Jupiter on July the 31st, a very powerful day for you. Again, you're expanding, you're, gl you're growing, you're exploring. On August the 11th, Venus enters your sign. You're a love magnet. Not only that, Venus is a planet of abundance. You're an abundance magnet too. So you're feeling very secure in yourself in August. In fact, the whole of this year, I think, is a real confidence booster for you. You want to dig some foundations when we get to the end of August. And you're like, right, you know, I, I want security and I'm confident enough to create that security within myself and who I want in my life. So powerful times. Venus is also in a very good space for you in November. That's exciting, fun-filled, creative. There's lots of peak experiences then. And in November, Jupiter is back into Pisces. And for you, that's about power. You may meet some extremely powerful people in this year, not just at the end of the year, but also at the beginning of the year. And you're mixing in, in power um, circles, whatever that means to you. And it means different things for different people. But fundamentally, looking good, you're back. And not even back, bigger, bolder, stronger than before. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Don't forget to come visit me on Instagram at Michelle Knight, Michelle with one L, and on Facebook where I do lots of lives and you may even get a live tarot reading from me individually, Michelle Knight Astrologer, and of course my website, michelleknight.com, if you want a reading with one of my fabulous psychics. So much love to you.